We are days away from Memorial Day, the national holiday that honors those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. Due to the pandemic, though, the Department of Veterans Affairs is changing the way official ceremonies will be held this year. Channel 3's Michelle Heron explains what they're doing. She joins us now live from the Chattanooga National Cemetery. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Cindy, you know, usually there is an official program here at the Chattanooga National Cemetery and groups of volunteers come and place flags at all of the graves. But this year that won't be happening and it's because of coronavirus concerns. Typically, the headstones at the Chattanooga National Cemetery are decorated with the stars and stripes the week before Memorial Day. Memorial Days are for those that have made the ultimate sacrifice that enable us to enjoy the freedoms that we have. But this year, they aren't. Like a lot of things, COVID-19 has changed the way Memorial Day will be observed this year. Usually troops from local Boy and Girl Scouts come out and place American flags on the nearly 58,000 graves of local veterans at the Chattanooga National Cemetery. But the Department of Veterans Affairs canceled the events this year because of COVID-19. Mickey McCamish is a retired Navy captain. And it's sad that those things will be missed this year. It brings a little tear to my eye as I think about those things where the virus has impacted events like that. The Chattanooga National Cemetery will remain open and family and friends will be allowed to visit and place flags. There will also be a private wreath laying ceremony that will not be open to the public. Despite the changes, McCamish hopes Americans will not forget the meaning behind the day and support the families of those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Just to let them know how thankful you are of the sacrifice that has been made. Now, officials here at the Chattanooga National Cemetery will also be placing five large American flags. They'll be putting them up on Thursday. Now, that is not open to the public. You can pay tribute online. I have that link posted inside our app. Reporting live in Chattanooga, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.